This is a typical plain seam that is sewn at the side seam and at the shoulder seam. We're ready to start sewing our practice seams. We're always going to sew with following a guide on the machine and in this case we're going to show you the guide here which is a 5 8 inch seam guide that I've marked in red. And she's sewing the plain seam with two layers of fabric about three inches long and nine inches down and she's sewing the plain seam making sure she's following that guide and at the end she will do a back stitch also because she started with a, a back stitch to start with completing the seam pulling the thread again at least five inches long and now she's ready to go over and press the seam open We also want to show you at the same time how to rip because sometimes you might have had a little problem and had a little tuck in it. So we're going to show you how to rip this thread very nicely is by clipping about every inch or three quarters of an inch, clipping your thread, just turn it to the other side and then you'll be able to take the thread and just rip it out and then you'll pick out the extra threads and then Move the, move the little tuck out or press it out and then you'll be able to put your pieces right back together, lay it back down and continue sewing again. This is a basting stitch. Start by adjusting the stitch length on the machine to the longest possible stitch length. Notice the stitches on the left are the long basting stitch and the stitches on the right are sewn with a standard stitch length 10 to 12 stitches per inch. We're going to start with no back stitch, continue stitching all the way the length of the seam and again no back stitch. Machines today will read a stitch setting of 3.0 to 2.5 for a standard stitch length. Select the highest number possible for the basting stitch. Welt seam is a plain seam with both seam allowances pressed to one side and then held in place with one row of top stitching. To sew the welt seam, Lindsay is first sewing a plain seam, starting with a back stitch, sewing the entire length of the seam, and finishing with another back stitch. Taking it over to the iron, she is going to press it to one side. Now we return back to the machine and we're using the foot as the guide along this pressed seam, top stitching it the entire length of the stitch. For more detail to a garment, you can use a different color of thread and becomes a nice decorative stitch. The next seam that we are going to do is an open welt seam, which is a seam with a decorative finish. And in this instance, Lindsay has already sewn the basting stitch and pressed the seam to one side. And now Lindsay is top stitching, again using the presser foot as the guide for the full length of the seam. We're going to remove the basting stitches from the inside and we remove them out of here and it becomes what we call an open welt seam or one with a little pleat which gives you a little more decorative stitch to your garment. Isn't that neat? 